A massive container ship has been dislodged from the banks of the Suez Canal after a massive effort to free it. The owner of the Ever Given says the 400-meter-long vessel has been straightened out, but it is not yet fully afloat. It became wedged in the canal a week ago amid high winds. Excavators have been digging out the side of the canal while as many as 11 tugboats have been pulling it back into position. The incident has blocked traffic in the waterway, leaving, it, leaving hundreds of cargo ships waiting in line. Well, for the very latest, we've got Chris Kober here with us from DW Business. Good morning. Good morning. Now, why has it taken nearly a week to get this vessel halfway dislodged? Well, we're looking at three factors here. First, the ship is extremely heavy. Second one is apparently the force with which uh, the Ever Given has run aground was, was quite strong. And the third one, it is a narrow canal, so you don't have really much room to, to maneuver. Um, that said, overnight, um, we know that several dredgers had told up vacuum, uh, vacuumed up 27,000 cubic meters of mud and sand. As you said, it took more than 10 tugboats uh, to at least partially straighten out uh, the Ever Given. And it took the moon, because the moon actually, over the weekend, the full moon, <laughs> uh, brought the spring tide, which which also uh, helped along there. However, the challenges remain. You said um, the the bow uh, is still uh, not freed; is it's they haven't dislodged it yet of the ship. And the high tide that has been helpful is receding this week. So the clock is ticking there. <laughs> so we don't really know. The Suez Canal is is part of the one of the busiest trade routes in the whole world. What's the extent of the damage, Chris, to world trade? Well, as experts had been saying, um, the, the damage is worth about $10 billion per day that world trade. $10 billion yeah, a day. Yeah, and, and here's another figure for you. Because of the ever given uh, uh, blocking the canal, according to the canal authority, around 370 ships on both sides, on each side of the canal, were waiting for, for passage. It is impossible to say what the individual, individual cargo on each ship is. So that could be anything from video games to, to toilet paper. Uh, so it shows you how frail uh, some of the trade links are in, in, in this situation. And, and obviously um, this accident has been a nightmare to Egypt as well. Uh, the state uh, canal authority losing about uh, $13 million each day <laughs> in fees of ships not being able to pass. So that office chair I ordered from my home office that's probably built in China, uh, it might take it Could a while be. longer still to Could get there. Could be, yeah. <laughs> World commerce in peril because of a ship blocking a canal. Um, could this happen again? It sounds like an almost refreshingly simple problem, doesn't it? A, <laughs> a ship just blocking a canal. And uh, it is the size of the ships that is part of the problem here. Um, uh, nowadays, these giant freighters are four times the size that they have been uh, 25 years ago. The Ever Given weighs 220,000 tons. Now, that might not tell you much, but it is the length of the height of the Empire State Building. It is it, 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 essentially- Almost half a kilometer long. Yeah, some call <laughs> it too big to sail, these kind of, kind of ships. And as they keep growing, uh, yes, the danger of that happening again persists. Chris, thank you very much. Chris Cover from DW Business.